Hey, what is up guys? It is me, Flavio, here back with another Mafia City video. In this video, I'm going to be comparing the stats of the babes that you get from the growth fund, and I'll also be explaining which babes are the best to get first and why. So, let's get started. As you all probably know, the babe growth fund gives you a total of 35 babe growth cards every month for $25. You usually need 150 fragments to unlock a babe, which means that it takes 5 months to unlock one babe and costs around $125. The growth cards give you an option to redeem fragments for 4 different babes, Angela, Bella, Ginger, and Francesca. Out of these 4, Bella, Ginger, and Francesca require 150 fragments each to unlock, while Angela only requires 100. This means that you can unlock Angela in just 3 months with $75 while all the other babes require 5 months and one twenty-five dollars So my first pick would always be Angela since you can unlock her the fastest and start upgrading her to get your stats up quickly. As far as the other 3 babes are concerned, let's take a look at the stats that they give. You'll notice that these three babes give a lot of common stats, so the first step in comparing their stats would be to remove all the common stats to find out what's not common in these babes. After we've done that, it becomes a lot easier to compare them, but there are still a lot of stats to compare. So our next step would be to eliminate the useless stats so that we can only focus on the useful ones. The useless stats are the stats that have no impact on your battle reports. For example, training capacity and hospital capacity, or stats that have a very small impact on your battle reports like vehicle and shooter stats. After removing all the useless stats, you'll notice that we're only left with bulker and biker stats and the crime ops capacity stat. Now it's a lot easier to compare them. If you watch my guide on how to compare stats, you'll probably know that damage reduction is the most important stat followed by damage, health, defense, and then attack. If you look closely at the stats that these three babes give you, you'll notice that Ginger is the only babe that gives all three of these stats, and even her damage stats are way higher than Bella's damage buffs, who is the only other babe that gives damage stats. So obviously, Ginger is the best out of those three babes, and you should always pick Ginger after Angela. For the last two babes, I don't think it'll make a huge difference which one you pick first since both Bella and Francesca give almost the same stats. You can cancel out Francesca's 4% attack buff with Bella's 1% enemy attack and 3% enemy defense buffs, and you're finally left with 2% damage versus 3% health. I'd probably go for Bella's 2% damage if I had to choose, but even choosing the 3% health buff wouldn't make much of a difference. So the order in which you'd want to pick your babes would be Angela first, Ginger second, Bella third, and Francesca fourth. So that's all I had for you guys in this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thanks for watching the video guys, and I will see y'all in the next one.